Hello, I'm Christine. Welcome to Trailer Talk. Today we're discussing the City of Bones trailer that was released last night at 10 30. I'm dying. Last night is now, right now. Um, the trailer is fucking spectacular. So I recorded myself watching the trailer for the first time. My freaking camera stopped recording before the end, but here's that. Yeah, tears. It was emotional. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's dive in. Following PV has been approved for appropriate audiences by the Motion Pictures Screen Gems, the Sony Pictures Entertainment Company. Can we just take a second to talk about how happy I freaking am that the people who did this movie did this movie? It's filmed from what we could tell so far beautifully. It's not like Breaking Dawn where it's so commercial that it looks kind of fake and cheesy. And it's not like The Hunger Games where we can't see anything because it's fucking moving too fucking fast. There's steady shots, there's unsteady shots, there's a mix. It looks like a real movie and it looks beautiful. First shot we get is a sweeping shot of New York City that looks exactly like the cover of the first book. Everything you've heard. Hodge narrates the whole thing. I think he does a really good job of explaining the mortal instruments. We see Jonathan's shadow hunter with the cup and the sword, that statue we always hear about. And Hodge is the guy from Mad Men. I already knew that, but he just looks all, all different. And oh, he looks a lot better than the Hodge that I imagined in my brain, who is very beaky and small. And this, he looks very, very established. This Hodge. We get a shot of this monster museum-ish area of what has to be the institute. Oh, it looks good, man. The demons look freaking good. Nightmares. We have a quick shot of another demon, and I'm assuming that's the boy from Pandemonium, maybe, because I don't have any idea. I'm just assuming because. We get this shot of Clary holding her cappuccino, and there's a ruin in the coffee cup. Don't know what that means or how that would happen. It's just a sign. And she's actually a shadow hunter from the beyond. Legends whispered around campfires. How epic does Hodge sound? Seriously, I can just... It's, it sounds like the Dumbledore of the series. Who is the Dumbledore of the series? Magnus, I guess. Like he's kind of like a young, hip, gay Dumbledore. Magnus is the Dumbledore of the series. Quick shot of Clary with Alec and Jace behind him. Jace is all... And Alex saw, who the fuck is this girl trying to steal Jace from me? No, no. This chorus, this song, this music, it's so epic. It's perfect. I wasn't expecting perfection in this first trailer. I mean, the only thing I would change is I still don't think Jace is attractive enough. He's not my Jace, and I just gotta get over it. I mean, I know Jamie Campbell Bauer is a good actor. All the stories are true. She looks up at the ceiling. What is it? I don't know, I have no idea, but whatever, it looks good. This is CGI, and it looks quality. Oh, so excited about quality CGI. Then we go to Pandemonium. Jace got a hood up. I'm not a big fan of the hood. I guess this is a Seraph blade, but he goes and Jace just stabs this dude in front of everyone. I guess no one can see them because they're under a glamour. It's not in the secret closet like it was in the book. I love how Simon's like, what is it? You didn't see that? Jace, what do you mean you saw that? There is a world hidden within our own. Also, can we talk about how cool it is that all the O's just rotate into runes? It just looks beautiful. It's, I, I, <sighs> Clary and Simon scene where Simon's declaring his undying love for her. Jace walks by. Simon's like, what are you looking at? But he doesn't actually say, what are you looking at? In the trailer, his lips don't move. I can't believe I'm hearing this. You're not a mundane. Jace sounds pretty mean there. It's okay, we know he's not. He's just belligerent. We see Jace's ring, and he's pointing to Stele at library books. I don't know what's going on, but it looks freaking cool. Oh, this is that part in, oh, Luke's house. With, oh, he's, 
Oh, they're watching the people when they come and sneak into Luke's. Oh, can we talk about the sea light for a second? It has a blue tip, like it's on fire. If I'm not a human, then what am I? You must be chosen. Must you really, though, be chosen? That's a new one for this series. Dorothea looks interesting. Nothing like I pictured. I pictured her like an old, crumbly old woman. Distress Clary shot. This thing he opens up. I've been hunting demons with all the knives. Oh my god, it's so cool. It has like a medieval look to it, their weapons. And it's awesome. Because if they went really modern with it, it would look kind of cheesy. And how it's got this medieval, dark feel. Just... Yes. Okay, we get a quick shot of Isabel, like, spraying the fire. So cool! Quick shot of this creepy ass child demon. I just, I love how they're doing the demons. Jay's doing a flip onto the table. Holy shit. I'm, I watch this and I'm like, whoa, he's good. Whoa, he's good. This is Jay's. And he flips on the table and like, Psh! This is the vampire scene based on the worldwide bestseller. Masochistic Jace is burning the rune into himself. Half angel, half human. Not exactly true, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. Beings of immense power. The police demon. After the Ravner attack, he takes off his sunglasses and as he takes them off, he turns into a demon. Simon's right behind him. Then there's a police truck. Jace like slides over a police truck. Kicks the door because that's a demon policeman. Fucking don't mess with Jace, bitches. Then we get a quick shot of this portal opening. Just trying to figure out, is this Dorothea's portal? Because it looks a little extravagant. Maybe this is the one at the hospital where Valentine is holed up at and they don't have the mirror. Clary like pokes at the portal. I'm gonna make one of these soon. Restore balance. It looks like Hodge is fighting maybe with Luke in this medieval looking scene. Luke isn't a werewolf. And I was thinking about this, maybe they're not gonna extreme werewolf him, you know, into the wolfy form because that takes a lot of CGI and it might come off cheesy and we don't want any cheesy! And if they just keep them as humans, oh, freaking looks great, oh, protect the world in a wall. Then we see this guy turn around with, with, uh, the dread things. Who is, that's Valentine, with the dreadlock thing? That's Valentine. What's what are these little dreads coming coming what are you doing with your hair there? You're a little not styling. We got a quick shot of some dude hanging from the ceiling. I guess this is in Renwick's this summer. What is it about her? Don't you love me, Chase? I don't want her here. Two strangers, one destiny. Does that sound epic or does that sound epic? There's a woman floating seven feet above a bed. Is this Jocelyn? That's the only conclusion I have come to. Shit, man, whoa, why is she floating? There's a map inside your head. Now this is a plot twist, there's a map inside Clary's head. I don't know what they changed for the movie. She's the key to their survival. I don't know what that means either, because I know, you know, she could draw ruins, but Jace, if anyone's the key to their survival, I mean, I would say it was you, Mr. Angel Boy. Clary wakes up with a ruin on her arm. Doesn't that happen in City of Ashes? Is this rescuing Simon? Did they, did they, did they, all, they all went together? Dude, they just they look like Charlie's Angels, except cooler. Oh, there's so many vampires. They're holding these weapons. I don't know if they're those things that loot the Kinjal things. You see Simon without a shirt behind them. He's already transformed back from rat to human. So they're not doing the whole motorcycle scene. That's my favorite. Maybe they'll do it in a different way. What if they all share a motorcycle? Okay, that's a stretch. There's too many of them. Have a little faith. God. <laughs> Isabel spewing fire. Quick shot of Luke. Run! Valentine fighting. Valentine's freaking hair things are flying around. Seriously, cut those off. <laughs> Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Welcome to the fucking City of Bones, bitches. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Join the phenomenon. Read the Mortal Instruments City of Bones available wherever books are sold. Oh my god, what a good idea. They never say things like that at the end. It tells you to go read the book in the trailer. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? This trailer was so good. I'm so thrilled with it. I can't even... Oh, I love it. I think this is a spectacular first trailer. Yes. I, 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 I. What were your thoughts? Share them. Share your thoughts. Okay, I'll see you next time. I'm so
excited. <laughs> This music is so epic. It's so too. Oh, oh god. This is the most fangirly trailer talk in the world. <laughs>